Welcome to English with 10 idioms. What are idioms? Why do we use them? 1. Computer bugs mean computer problems. In the past, a computer is as big as a room. One day, Grace Hopper's computer crashed. She looks for the cause. She finds a moth that caused the problem. From then on, she calls a computer problem a bug. Today, we still call computer problems bugs. 2. Heard it through the grapevine means to learn something from gossip. Before telephones, telegraphs send messages. Telegraph wires look like grapevines. People use idioms where few words have lots of meaning. An example is, I just heard through the grapevine that she likes him. Today, we still say gossip comes from grapevines. 3. Loose cannon means an out-of-control person. In the past, wooden warships have metal cannons. Strong ropes keep the cannons in place. A loose cannon would push back quickly out of control. Today, we say this phrase to mean people who can't control themselves. For example, these fighting athletes are loose cannons. 4. Potholes mean holes in the road. Long ago, cartwheels get stuck in muddy roads. Near factories, people put pottery pieces onto the road. Years later, the roads are paved. When holes were in the top tarmac, you can see pottery bits. Today, we call road holes potholes. 5. Put a sock in it means to stop talking so loud or too much. Before music apps, records are played on these machines. Music comes out the horn-shaped speaker. There is no way to lower the volume. The sound is made softer by putting a sock in the speaker. Today, we say, that is too noisy. Put a sock in it. 6. Quack means a bad or dodgy doctor. Long ago, people did not know what causes diseases. Doctors think bad air causes diseases like the plague. They wear outfits like this to protect themselves. The beak is full of things that smell nice. These doctors don't cure the plague. The dodgy doctors look like ducks, so people call them quacks. 7. Saved by the bell means to save at the last minute. Long ago, people are afraid of being buried alive. So, rich people are buried with a cord tied to their shoes inside the coffin. The other end connects to a bell at the surface. If alive, he moves his foot and rings the bell. He is saved by ringing the bell. Today, we still say this to mean rescued at the last moment. 8. Throw the baby out with the bathwater means to not appreciate something important. Long ago, people don't bathe often. In the castle, servants pour hot water into the wooden bath. The king washes first, then the queen and older kids. When it's time for the baby's bath, the water is brown. The servants have to take care not to throw the baby out with the water. Today, we say this phrase to mean lose the good getting rid of the bad. Like throwing aluminum cans into the trash is like throwing the baby out with the bath water. 9. Tip means a reward for good service. Before electricity, rich people handwrite notes that messengers deliver. When a message is urgent, the sender pays extra money. On the note, they write tip. It means to ensure promptitude or quick deliver. Today, we still say tip to mean money given for good service. 10. Wave a red flag means to warn about danger. Over a hundred years ago, horses pull carts. When cars are invented, 
Some cities have red flag laws. A person waving a red flag walks in front of the slow car to warn the horses. Today, we say this phrase to warn about danger. For example, scientists wave a red flag about climate change. To close, an idiom is a few words with lots of meaning. With idioms, bugs break computers. Socks mean quiet, and grapevines talk. Understanding idioms improves my English. The ebook with the same name is available on Google Play. See the catalog for more Alfred books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 2 million free Alfred ebooks have been downloaded 